Welcome to the product tutorials on how to allocate resources as a resource manager in Replicon. I'm now logged in into the Replicon instance. In Replicon, you can allocate resources as a resource manager or as a project manager. By allocating resources, we mean that you will be assigning a resource to a project and task along with the number of hours that he will be working on these. In this video, I would explain how the allocation can be done by a resource manager. In order to allocate resources as a resource manager, log into your Replicon instance and click on Project Management. On Project Management screen, go to Resources. You would here see a small calendar. Let's first learn about the page and the calendar before we allocate resources. To start with, you would see a filter that shows how you can sort the calendar either by the username or by the availability from a particular date range. Choose any one of these and click OK. You can then set the other filters like the first name, department, skills, project, client, program or a group if enabled for your instance. The view of the calendar can be changed from daily to weekly to monthly by just clicking on the flyout buttons that are available at the top. You can also jump to a past or the future date by clicking on this particular filter. You can specify the number of hours to be shown as a percentage, that is the percentage of hours of the user, or to see directly the hours, or you can choose none to show no hours at all. Moving down towards the bottom, you would see a different color available on the calendar. Let's first learn about the significance of these colors. The sky blue, as you can see here, appears when a user has been allocated to a project that has a status as tentative. Any tentative project, if a user is allocated to that particular project, will show the allocation in sky blue. A dark blue project allocation is shown if the project is set to in progress. The green shows up on the calendar if the user has taken a time off for that particular project. You can also see a red color triangle available at the top right hand corner for some of the cells. These right hand side triangles specify that the user has been overly allocated. That is, the user was specified to work for a number of hours but has been working or has been allocated for a larger number of hours here. In order to see the summary of this user, all you have to do is take your cursor onto the allocation and you would see a pop-up coming up showing that from which date to which date has the user been allocated and to how many projects has been allocated to. If I click on this cell, it would also show the time of hours that a user has. Now let's learn about allocating hours to a user as a resource manager. In order to do so, you would see a section called Show Projects here. Click on Show Projects and you would see the list of projects that this user has been assigned to. Take an instance where you would want a user to be assigned to a particular project but you do not see that user added to the project. In that scenario, click on Add to Project first this will show you the name of all the projects that the user has not been assigned to. Choose one of those projects and click on continue. Now you can allocate the number of hours to the user. If you click on skip allocation, the project would be added to the list but no allocation will be done. To allocate a resource, Click on a cell available here and you would see a pop-up coming up. Select the range and then select the time that you would like to allocate as hours per day, as a percentage or total hours. When I say total hours, you can assign a total number of hours and the system would divide the number of hours by month, by week or daily as per the specified view. So if I set it to total hours for the entire month and I say add allocation, you would see the total hours appearing here 
However, when I change it to weekly, you would see it divided. When I change it to daily, you would see it further divided automatically by the system. This is how you can add an allocation to a particular project. Thank you for watching the video. Did you know that you can now get in touch with Replicon using Replicon community? In order to access the Replicon community, go to the Replicon website and click on Customer Zone. On the Customer Zone, choose Community and you would be taken to the Community page. Now you can sign in or register and start posting your questions, queries, ideas, bugs, issues and one of our product management team members or one of the Replicon representative will get in touch with you immediately.